I adjust it, nozzle is steering when I engage it. Now it is engaged. Control locks. All free. Oh, look in here. So it's going to be quite a bit noisy. So make That's sure nice. You, make sure you have your headsets yep. on, right? All right, turning.
So, Francisco. <laughs> yes, Hans Jörg. Can you stay there? Yeah. I can if okay. you want. In, yes, sure. In the sure. sun a little bit. So, that is one of the only five MS Paris flying still in the world. Yes, that's correct. So, there are actually right now five of them are flying worldwide. We have three here in Dole. There is one uh, in Morlaix, in Brittany, in France. And then there is another one in the New York area. So, these are the five. Paris, yes, still in airworthy condition right now. Okay. And why do you love the Paris jet? Well, I love it because of, as you know, I love all the historical planes. The Paris jet has an amazing history in the sense that it was the very first uh, private jet ever built, uh, well before the Learjet, well before the Jetstar. So to preserve this airplane is important to us because we also deal with uh, customers that have private jets. Of course, they have Falcons and Bombardiers and Gulfstreams, but we want to have this one here just to preserve it because it is important to us. And what, what do you do with it? Can you just charter it for a flight? <laughs> no, we don't do commercial flights. <laughs> we just uh, do sightseeing flights for us and uh, for our customers and for friends that you know would like to have a, a ride on board the plane. We also give flight training, so we have, uh, we have the, uh, the approval from the French authorities to do training on uh, one of the other Paris yet, which is French registered. So this is something that we also do for uh, for pilots, for those who want to. Okay, and just talking a little bit about speeds and endurance, how, how, how what, what kind of airports you need for, for this uh, plane? Uh, the airplane has 484 gallons of fuel, so basically 1,860 liters. You can fly, uh, the longest flight I have done is three hours and two minutes, but then there is very little margin left for, for reserves. But uh, yeah, you can fly, let's say, uh, two hours and 45 minutes, you know, and still have about 45 minutes reserves. So it's, it's, it's pretty, uh, pretty decent and you fly at 300 knots. So wow. that's, uh, the true airspeed is 300 knots, so that's quite comfortable. And you can go straight to flight level 250. So the airplane is certified to fly at flight level 250. And of course it is IFR. So it's fully pressurized. It's fully pressurized, absolutely, yes. Yeah. Yes, it is. And this airplane was built in 1958. So okay. it's quite amazing to think that, you know, they were still building, building like, you know, the Lockheed, the Starliners in those days in 1958. And at the same time, you had this, uh, these jets yeah. already uh, flying. And there's a special story about this plane with John Travolta? Yes, that's correct. Uh, November 760 X-Ray, for those who uh, like John Travolta's movies, he made a movie called Look Who's Talking. Uh, and um, I don't know in German, but in, in French, it's uh, Allo Maman Ici Bébé. And uh, there is a sequence where uh, he is just teaching how to fly the airplane to uh, his uh, future wife in the movie. So, and it was done on board this airplane. And John Travolta used this airplane himself to just uh, fly around the United States. Okay. So, uh, yeah, enjoy it again. And uh, hopefully you keep them flying for a long time. Uh, we will do our best for sure. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank, Thank you. you.